Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City, and I want to talk about uh, rentals. I want to talk about the leasing activity and what's going on right now. Now, you know, when COVID really became a serious issue in the United States in March, although we all know it should have been earlier than that, but March is when we really started taking this seriously. Uh, we projected some real problems in the future. I mean, unemployment swelled up to over 14% just about anywhere and some higher. Uh, people were losing their jobs. Uh, it was a very, very sad time for a lot of people and we really didn't know what the future will bring. Uh, and so for us, we kind of started looking at the worst case scenario. And so my property manager and I uh, said, you know, starting April 1st, we just need to tell people that hey, we just may have some evictions here. We may have people that can't pay. Well, to our amazement on April 1st, and I know I've done a video on this before, we had 100% collections. Now, were they a little bit more difficult in a few cases? Yes, they were, but 100%. Well, all right, that relieved our anxiety, but here comes May. We don't know if this is getting worse or not. Again, we had 100% collections except for one person who lost their job. They let us show it the same day. We got somebody in a week after they left. They paid for that week. Therefore, that investor was made whole. And it's gone on through August that we are still at 100% in that respect. Now, we have to vet a little harder. We have to be extremely careful. In some cases, we, want to, we may want to take a little bit of extra in terms of deposits, but we're being very, very cautious about who we rent to. And we're just not getting anybody in there to avoid vacancies. So we want you to know that. Now, the other thing about Oklahoma City is that we do not have a moratorium on evictions. Now, in April, we had a problem in that the Sheriff's Department didn't want to send anybody out to change the locks. So here's how it goes in Oklahoma, a very landlord friendly state. Uh, you do on the first, late on the second, filed on the fifth, you're in court by the 15th. If you hadn't paid your mortgage and you don't have a smoking gun, and believe me, they typically don't or rarely if ever do, uh, and there's no excuse for not paying your mortgage, you're out of there. And we do send an attorney because we want representation for you and it's not that expensive. So then if they refuse to leave, and this is the bugaboo here, this has been the problem uh, that could put, ha, be a problem for you is that the sheriff goes out a week or so later and changes the lock. So about three, three and a half weeks is a typical eviction. Uh, now, the problem was is for about at least two weeks, the sheriff decided they didn't want to risk their folks and so they didn't change the locks, but that's been long gone. So if there is an issue right now in a landlord friendly state and without a moratorium, this is the situation. I'm sorry for the people that lose their houses. I, I wish that the federal government would do something for them, but I represent investors and I have got to do everything I can to make you whole. Now, the good news is we haven't at this point had to do it. Life is not perfect. Not saying it's gonna keep going that way, but from April 1st to today, it is that way. And then the other thing is normally on a first time rental, when you buy something, leasing has taken 28 days typically. So not a lot of vacancy. We're 20 days and down right now. And what we're finding is with hybridized school systems, at home learning, the rental season and the school driven markets have been extended. So we know that going in September, which can be a fairly weak month, then that we're actually going to have a good month in September. So leasing is going well. We're vetting people out properly. We have no moratorium. This is a good place to invest, a, a safe place versus others, or should I say a safer place to invest, lower risk, Oklahoma City.